I wish I could say that this game is about killing monsters, dragons, or evil wizards. Unfortunately, our enemy is far greater than those puny beasts. Grammar. An enemy that makes the best man cry in their bed. Welcome to 2099, where incorrect use of grammar is punishable by law. And thanks to a minor accident, you are now in charge of grammar validation.
Nation. ないか最夜人は一匹たりとも生かしてはおかないどうだ生まれ変わった私のパワーじゃあまだよ消えちゃえ邪魔だよキイちゃんこれまでいろんなやつと戦ってきたけんどこの世にはまだまだすんげえや
know what you're thinking. How does someone become the CEO of a multi-billion dollar company? Well, let me tell you how I did it. First, I found a small office. You know, just enough to get us started. And then I came up with an amazing idea and an even better name. With that settled, I started hiring developers, designers, marketers, recruiters, researchers, all that, but only the best. Now with our dream team in place, we started adding features. The landing page, comment section, chat system, you name it. Everyone was hustling and putting in the long hours because we all shared the same dream. Of course, we had to make sure our investors were happy. We were constantly hitting the milestones and used the money to continue to grow even more. As our website became more popular, we even had to hire new people. Plus, with the huge increase in traffic, we had to start handling hosting ourselves. Eventually, our investors wanted their money back, so we had to monetize somehow. Whether we went with a subscription-based model or used banner ads, we had to make sure it didn't drive our customers away. But once we figured that out, nothing could stop us. Money started flowing in. We expanded like never before. Bigger servers, new offices, and new colleagues every day. Suddenly, everyone knew who we were. We weren't even competing with our competitors anymore because we just bought them out. After years of hard work, we became the biggest site on the planet. But that's how I became the CEO of a multi-billion dollar company. What will your story be? Startup Company, now available. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. Wow! It's like yeah, I'm in a real karate place! No, Madame Cassandra! We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom! Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. Just call me SpongeBob Swing Pants. You're doing exactly what I want. Now that's talent. Costume change. There's no stopping this, sailor! Are you real pirates yet? Are you? I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. The world is about to enter a new era. A great change is coming. This time on Earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like. God of sleep. Sounds like. How it feels to be alive right now. What is this season that is about to end? And why is it ending?
Si te gusta el contenido de nuestro canal, no olvides suscribirte y activar la campanita para que YouTube te avise cuando subimos un nuevo video. Y si te gustó mucho este video, puedes darle like y compartirlo con tus amigos.